detail. So you girls that are experienced yeah. with our system can kind of help her out and let her know what this to expect. This is the worst part, the waiting. Oh, thank God, I'm tired. After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. Every day when I come through these doors, I change. I'm a totally different person. I have to be tough when I need to be. But then at the same time, I try to understand not everybody that is in here is a bad person. Sometimes they're just put in a hard situation. They make wrong choices. And a lot of these people, it's their first time, and they probably won't be back again. We're waiting for a code five that's about to come in. The male, all we know is he's combative. Okay. Oh. He's on PCP and meth, and he's been on a bench for four days. And he's running around naked. Christopher, Christopher, if you want to help, come on, man. You know me. Here we go. And judging by your red face, you have an alcohol problem. <laughs> I bet. No. Oh, who's laughing? Who's laughing? Hit that guy? Hit your face is redder than his. I bet you guys have been at the same bar every day. No, no. He was going to let me go. I wouldn't know. Stop me all day, please. This cycle, I don't want to go through it. I'm going to see you. I'm going to see you. I'm going to see you. I'm for his own safety, he'd be taking up the 2C because it's a better place to watch him. They watch him every four minutes. Uh, there's two officers up there to keep a track of him just for his own safety. He obviously he just can't put him in a cell because just the state of his mind is just going to work out. He needs to be closely watched. How do you say your first name, Helenia? Helena? Is the OR going to be faster than this time, or is, it going to, is the bail going to go faster? Your only charge is trespass. So four to 12 hours, you'll be out of here. And you're not going to be working at night anymore, you were telling me? To... I'm going back to school um, this next spring. I'm going to go to school for dental assistance. I started school, but I never finished. Uh -huh. so, I had a fluoride scholarship to play soccer at UW when I graduated, but I didn't take it because I was on drugs. And I had babies. So. And you're how old now? 20. You're 20? Yeah. How long were you out in the streets for? Um, since I was 13. So since you were 13, you've been out in the streets. How did you get out on the streets? What got you started in that? I left because my dad mistreated me. And in a like physical way? Physical, sexual. He did that to all the girls that were in the foster care until they lost their license. But I still ended up staying because I have their last name. Right. They adopted me, but they never took care of me. Then you said you had three kids? I have three kids. Are they all from the same father? Yeah. Yeah, you're still with him? Yeah. You said you were not going to work the streets anymore. What happened tonight? How come you're in here for trespass? I was out with two of my really close friends. They wanted to celebrate with me because they're the ones that finally got me out of it. They told me to stop, and they've been telling me to for a year now, and I finally did. So they just wanted to hang out with me tonight. OK. So because they knew you, they got you in for trespassing? And you were just celebrating to end all this. Yeah, but it's all right. <laughs> it happens. 
did you call Okay, me? well, at least you're going to be out of here without having to pay bail, and you'll be out of here in 4 to 12 hours. <laughs> Hopefully it's 4, yeah. I hope I don't see you here again. All right. Hey, do you remember Helena from previous times? Yes. You know, she's only 20. She says she's going to give up the streets and study. What's your worst experience out there? What happened? Uh, I've been stabbed in my stomach and in my head. You are what? Stabbed. You were stabbed in your stomach? Let me see. Wow, what happened? How, how did that happen? I was in Arizona. I was jumping in cars when I was 16. From car date. I was trying to jump out of the car because he pulled a gun on me. And I pulled out the knife and he took it from me. He stabbed me twice and threw me out the passenger seat. With your own knife? Yes. You, so you have a pimp? Did you work for a pimp? No? Never have. You never worked I for a pimp? Family. I always yeah. All right, Helena, I don't kids around that either. Right. I have three boys. I don't want them to see another man hitting on another woman. So I want my kids to learn that. Mm -hmm. Her three boys are a lot of reason for her to quit, but starting off so young, the streets is all she knows. You never know. see to come through here. Some of these people I've seen over and over again, I know that they want to do good, but they have something that's stopping them or due to an addiction or a situation at home that they cannot overcome. Hopefully the ones that are serious about it can get the help that they need. They're wrong! They're wrong! Call Action 13! Action 13! Since this gentleman is going back and forth emotionally, um, we can't trust him to be out here in pre-arrest on his own on good behavior. So we'll probably take him either for a cooling down period or take him up to 2C, which is isolation. I've been trying to do good. I've been, I've been behaving myself and trying to focus on my wife and my kids. And I got a, I got a daughter in down. a wheelchair since the You Back and forth. He's crying one minute. He's angry. Care. One minute he's completely calm, and the other minute he's screaming. So he's uh, emotionally unstable, and we're going to keep him in the restraint chair. Why'd you let go of me? You okay, quiet time, Sarah. You know what? You know what? Quiet time. Here, you sit here in the corner and think about what you did tonight. You know what? I didn't do nothing wrong. And screaming again. Tell me what happened with him. He got into a fight with his brother. It started at a bar. They came home. I guess he got beat up at a bar. Uh, when they got home, he wanted to drive away drunk. His brother refused to, to let him have the keys of the car. Try to grab the keys, and that's what started the fist fight. When we arrived, he was real belligerent, so he was pretty combative at that point. OK, cool. Thank you. Joseph? Can you try to stay calm so they can get you out of that chair? Because right now, you go from calm to angry very quick. What were you drinking? Very little. I don't know. Hard so, stuff? All I know is cops, like, attack me tonight, and I'm all up. Yeah, but there's got to be a reason. Cops just don't go around attacking people without a really oh, good reason. Oh, yeah, because they got a vendetta because they don't like me with their own. So they got a vendetta. I, I just, I don't understand what you're talking about. I was silly. I fell in love with a wife's cop. Oh, a oh, cop's wife? And that's why I'm going through this bull. Does your wife know about this? Yes, my wife knows. My wife Shh. knows about this for the last two years. Church voice. I'm right here. And my wife thinks I'm a crazy man because all my life, cops have been me all my life. Are you mad at me? No, no, because you actually, you're pretty, pretty, you're pretty girl. Thank you. You don't want to yell at pretty girls then. No. Is it is that dark haired girl? She's right there. Hey, why don't you get on your knees, girl? It's not nice to say. Joe, I'm gonna leave you alone because you're not fun to talk to. And you're kinda mean. And your mom raised you better than that. So you calm down and I'll come talk to you when you're ready to be nice.
Joseph, we want to get you out of honey, that chair. Honey, you need to calm down. Honey, when people play God, it's wrong, sweetie. You know, have the right to play God to make these judgments. Don't you think if you're going to make a decision, though, Joseph, you should man up to the consequences? Yes. But you know what? When God put my daughter in a wheelchair, whose decision was that? Does that have anything to do with us, though? It's got a lot to do with everything. Because you know what? Now I know what it feels like for my daughter to be restricted in a wheelchair. And I curse God for putting my daughter in a wheelchair! Joseph, because you can't control yourself, we're going to take you upstairs, OK? <sighs> So some time has gone by after uh, Joseph came in. The alcohol is worn off, so we're going to go talk to him. I'm going to see how he's doing. Hey, Joseph. How you doing? Better. You're better? You look better. You got enough sleep? You know, I'm surprised you, you remember me from last night. You're a totally different person. You have no alcohol in your system now. You're more calm. Yeah, I know. It's like Dr. Jekyll or Mr. Hyde. True. You're probably a whole lot nicer. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember when you were in the chair last night? Oh, that was upsetting me being restrained. I know. Yeah. I was an ass. I apologize. It's all good. It's all good. It's all the alcohol, like I said. You got a lot of bruising from the scuffle with your brother. For you not to remember, you must have drank a lot. Been, yeah. I know I got an alcohol problem, and I'm an alcoholic, but my baby girl, she's 16. And, yeah. And, uh, you know, she's been going through surgeries and surgeries, and I really need to be out of here and go back to work so my insurance can kick in because since I've been laid off for 18 months, she needs the medical bag. Once you see the judge, you'll be able to get out of here and hopefully get on a program for yourself and for your daughter. I wish you the best. Good luck. Hopefully, he'll be able to get into a program and uh, get through it, knowing that his daughter needs that medical attention and uh, him keeping a job, which means no alcohol. I've been on the department for uh, almost six years now, about three and a half years of what I've been spending down on booking. In this facility, we try to keep it as clean as possible. It helps cut down on all the all the germs. We keep the workers down here at all times cleaning up. Help them uh, get some days off their sentence. But uh, yeah, it's one of our top priorities to keep this place clean. What are you guys doing right now? Uh, mopping and sweeping, sir. Mopping and sweeping. Yeah. You got okay. everything straightened up. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a little grungy in here right now, but you know we're on call. You like working down here? Yeah, I like yeah, yeah. down here the best. I started out in laundry, and then I was module worker, yeah. and then I just came down here three days ago. Oh, good, guys. Keep up the work. Thank you, Steve. All right. They cheated. They lied. They said I grabbed their neck. I came in there. She accosted me, and this one gentleman out of five took me out of four people. Where were you at? My own home. My mom's dying. She's dying. Have you been drinking tonight? I've had a couple drinks, but I deserve to. My mom's dying. What were you drinking? I don't need to tell you anything. Just... I'm going to see what's going on with this uh, young lady right here. That's the officer. What happened? Why you arrested her? Brought her in? 20 years minimum. Sir, why was she arrested tonight? You did it. You are guilty as charged. Domestic violence. She grabbed the neck of her own yeah. I grabbed the neck after she. So, what did you ask the charge over? Just that. Battery. Okay. My mom's dying, and I need to be there right now. Yeah, my, my mom's dying. I've been going through some mood swings. No. Come on, I'm back over here. You caused me from being at my mom's funeral. She's very agitated, very upset. My mom's dying. On the one hand, she says she's not suicidal. But the way she's talking, I have my doubts. So uh, we're going to put her in the train chair what do you do? until she calms down a little bit. Ouch! Do you know what you're doing? You're making me internally bleed. When I die right now, I'm telling you right now, she's dying, and they have taken me away when somebody beat me up. Yeah, make sure. You better believe it.
Man, we'll give you a little cooling off period so you can calm down. I'll die now. I'm gonna die now. I want you to Ma know this calm down. right now. Calm down, no, ma'am. Right now, on the 16th, I'm going to die. That's How much right. have you drank tonight? I didn't drink tonight. You gotta calm down. That way we can get you out of this well, chair. Well, my dad just died. I'm okay. not dead. Both my brothers are dead. If I'm bleeding internally, I left okay. the hospital so well, I can Well, you smell like alcohol, so we'll just let you sleep that off, all right? No, but that's all not right. it. I guess she just needs to sit there and wait a little bit longer before she can come out of the chair. We'll check back on with her in about uh, 15 minutes. Okay, now hold still for a minute. Before I leave, I'd like the pictures more done what that she did to me. Okay, come this way. But that sounds Let's go back oh, out and have a seat right there. Okay, I'll go. All right, ahead. you've got to stay calm though, remember? Yes, I remember. All right. Good, just have a seat right there. Boy, there's an awful lot of sandals. I'm glad that he was such a gentleman. He knew that I wore small. Yeah, we got them perfect for you, huh? Yeah, I'm so happy to be matching. You seem a lot calmer, though. That's really nice. Yeah. Oh, good. Well, maybe we can uh, get you in the court and everything. No, I'm not. Oh, that's a secret Hold note. Hold on, I have to see no, it. No, it's what a secret it? note. It's a note one of the people gave me. A Who? Special note. Who? One of the people cleaning. Let me see it. I have to see it. I'll give it back to you. Let me see it. He just said that I was fine and that could ride him. It wasn't anything bad. It says, what's up, fine girl? My name is Phil. I got till October 15th. October 15th. Till I get out of here, can you write me? And when I get out, can we hook up, send you letters? Please. Okay. You didn't do anything wrong. Please, I'll, I'll relax. No. I'll give it back to you in a few minutes, okay? No, don't get it. Okay. Don't worry about it. About it. I do worry about it. She had a, a note from one of the workers stuffed in the cuff of her pants. Um, you know, they know that they don't supposed to be doing that. Yeah, and so he was to talk to him. Right enough to sign his own name and ID number on there, so yeah, it's not like he's going to be able to deny that it was him. Yeah, so I think they should talk to him, maybe give him cad because they're not supposed to be doing that. Okay. He didn't do anything wrong. He didn't do anything wrong. He just said hello. Bill, where? Go ahead and stand right here on the wall. Yep. How long have you been working down here now? About uh, three days. Three days? You know you're not supposed to be talking to any inmates down here, right? Oh, okay. I know her from somewhere. Where do you know her from? Oh, God. You know, it was like to a friend of a friend. How come she doesn't know you? Maybe she don't remember me. I don't know. I think you're lying to me right now. You know, you said when you get out of here, you want to hook up. So it's not just about having her to have someone here to write to. Yeah, to hook up like friends, like hang out, you know? Mm -hmm. Receiving any good time and work time? Yeah. I think your worker status is pretty much done. But you know better than this. It's in the handbook. It's in the rule book. What? Rule You've been book. here long enough. So don't play the games with me, or I'll go for all your time. All right. Let's post it up everywhere. Go back in there. We'll come back and get you in a little bit. Yeah, so he's going to lose his worker status. Hopefully learn his lesson if they do give him the chance to be a worker again. He'll uh, take advantage of it and get his good time work done. Chris was really combative and verbally abusive yesterday due to all the drugs. I'm going to talk to him now and... Uh, See how he's doing. He appears a lot more calm, so let's see what he remembers anything. Hey, Chris. How are you? I'm good. How are you feeling today? I feel a lot better. Yeah? yeah? Do you remember anything about yesterday when you came in? Not really, no. You had a whole bunch of drugs in your system. Do you remember that? You had no clothes on. I think so, yeah. The last thing I remember is being picked up by the cops. How long have you been doing drugs, Chris? Well, 15 years. 15 years? How old are you now? 27. Wow. What kind of bins were you on, and what, what is that? Um, a binge is, is where you basically, um, you'll do anything and, and everything to, to get your drug. Um, it's not a, it's not, it's not a pretty sight. Um, you, you will, you will do anything to your family, to your friends. Um, it's, it's, it's nothing that I would recommend to, to anybody as, um, the whole time I, I thought that I was watching somebody else, 
Um, I didn't know it was actually me until I woke up. Mm -hmm. And uh, I felt, <laughs> it's a feeling I can't explain. It's, yeah. it's, it's a dark feeling, yeah. You were a totally different person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it scared me. I don't want to end up that person. <laughs> yeah. Well, I wish you the best, and I'm glad you ended up here. I'm glad you're feeling better. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's go take you back upstairs. When you come into work, you have to change your whole mindset. It's something about maybe putting on the uniform that changes your mindset, but you have to be ready for anything when you come in here. When we're not at work, we, we don't have to deal with these same kind of people and the same kind of attitudes, and so you have to kind of change that whole mindset when you come into work, especially here in Las Vegas. Get all the way down. Um, this guy just fell off of his chair, possible seizure, but he was hyperventilating earlier. He's responding to the ammonia. I'm okay. I know you're okay. Let me alone. Why'd you flop on the floor? Let me alone. Why do you keep doing this? I can't, I can't. Why do you keep breathe? Playing? Why do you keep playing like this? You're breathing fine. You're holding your breath. And Let me go. I'm the fire. I'm fine. Let me go. You said that last time, but now you just flopped yourself on the floor again. So what is really going on? I'm okay. I'm okay. Stay sitting in the... I'm okay. I'm okay. You're intoxicated, and you're looking for attention. What do you want? Nothing? Then breathe normal, Daniel. Stop acting. You've been arrested. You have to deal with it, Daniel. Daniel's been doing this off and on since he came in being arrested. He was arrested for a DUI charge, which he said that he wasn't driving his truck at the time that he was arrested um, from the witness statements of his DUI. And so now he's trying to act up. And uh, he's done this twice already, so. Hopefully he'll just sit calm now and breathe like a normal human being. Ah! Ah! All right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just put it on chair. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. 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 I'm I just put on two. I didn't, I didn't realize what it meant. You didn't. No. Told you in plain, clear English. Up on your knees. There you go. You know, the inmate didn't want to follow directions. He started uh, going through the pat down procedure and actually kicked his sandals off at the officer. And downhill from there. All the way up the wall. I can't have him sit down there, will you? Sit down, gentlemen. Sit down. Bend your knee. Pick your foot up. This guy actually earlier during day shift was a problem with the day shift uh, officers. They told us about him. He had uh, gone to the Rio Hotel, I think it was, was, and went swimming without permission of the hotel. He was not a guest. So that's what he ended up getting arrested for as a trespass. And then uh, we're going to leave him in here for a cool down. Yep. Got the name for the sheet? Yeah, yeah we'll stick it or something. Okay. Real outlaw. This is a real outlaw. Let me breathe. Let me breathe. This is the fourth time he's done this now. Leave me alone. Anything Let me happen? breathe. Class two? No. Oh. DUI. Yeah. Let me alone. Clear, right? Let me get down in my seat. All right, let's take him. There you go. Let Stand up. Go. Walk. I just wanted to breathe. I didn't even get out of my seat. And now all of a sudden you're now all of a sudden you're breathing fine. Talking fine. So I was talking fine too. If you guys yeah. leave me alone, could fall on the no. floor. He's a DUI where uh, the officer actually got him after he's done driving, but all the witness statements got him as his little DUI. All right, come on in. You just let me leave my seat. I've been fine. What's going on, Daniel? Nothing. 
Nothing. I walked out of Albertsons. I got arrested for DUI walking out of Albertsons. Were you drinking Scotch. earlier today? Was I? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, yes. You, so you were intoxicated when they approached you? Yes. Okay. They arrested me for drunken driving, and I didn't have a car anywhere around. That's how stupid they are. Oh, so they started beating me. They go, where's your truck? Where's your truck? We saw you get dropped off, and they start smashing me with their nightsticks. Where's your truck? Where's your truck? I told them, quit f***ing hit me. I got scars. And, and, and I see no bruising at all. Well, listen, you going to let me talk? I have 18 and a half years' experience of dealing with people like you. And I'm telling you right now, you are not beat with nightsticks. There's no marks on you. There's no welds. There's no red marks. In my book, you're lying. Your time's up. No more. OK, you just sit there and be quiet. On your case. Were you drinking when you came in here? What's no, the deal? No, I don't do drugs. I don't you don't do drugs? Okay, well, do why are you acting that way when you came in? Um, I was just being quiet, that's all. Just You're kinda, just being quiet? Just kind of tired, yeah. I saw you kick your shoes at the officer. You're not ready to come out here yet either, are you? Okay. Okay? That's, that's it? I'd rather go, but I mean, it's up to you guys again, so. I understand. Yeah, it is up to us. So, we'll leave him here also. Okay. You Sounds guys. good. Anyway, sir. Couple of liars no, you're together. Done. Your time's done. Your time's done. You give me the brain pain. I don't like getting the brain pain on my Friday. Yeah, you give me a penny. They're obviously both just lying and trying to concoct their own little stories to make themselves look good. city. 24 hours of gambling, 24 hours of playing, 24 hours of drinking. So people from all over the world end up here in this jail. After they've been here for a while, the alcohol wears off, the drugs wear off, reality sets in and they realize that they don't want to be here. So, you know, we'll get them through the process, we do what we can, get them out of here, but it's just a revolving door. It's the same thing every day, same situation. Ma'am, come here. Face this well. I got scabies and lice. Thank you for telling you me. Might get the lice because it's in the jungle. I'm not gonna get the lice. Don't say that. That freaks me out. Why do I need to get the lice? It's a Why are you gonna fact. wish me on that? It's a medical fact. They jump. Yep. You got long hair to get it. And I have scabies. <laughs> Spread your feet. I, I have scabies. Well, lice. be proud of that. What are you in for right now? Loitering for the purpose of prostitution? I don't know. <gasps> that is what you're here for, huh? And you've got lice, scabies, and hepatitis. What? <laughs> You see anything wrong with that? Not judging, but do you see anything wrong with that? I'm just letting you know so you can tell the medical no, 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 so that no. nobody gets affected. Or are you letting people know that when you uh, when you do them sexual favors for money? Okay, I'm just, I'm just letting you know so that you can tell medical so nobody else gets affected. I appreciate it. Anybody else say to me? We okay. don't judge what God does. Please. Okay, please. I said I don't judge you, but I need to know. No, you don't need to know. All right, if it's not your problem, I just said I worry about I'm it a little bit more. So you can tell medical so that. They Duly can noted. Okay, come on. Let's go to medical, because I don't know why you're trying to make we me really feel bad. I'm not trying to make you feel bad, but I don't want to make you cry. You want to make me cry or whatever? I don't want to make you cry. You're tough. You're the one out there. You've got all, this, all these diseases, and you're flinging it out there. All right, the female that was just brought in, you guys picked her up? Yes, we did. Do you know what for? Prostitution related. There were some vice officers that did a uh, stop on her, and uh, she solicited sex to them, and uh, they called for a transport, so we came and transported. Apparently, she was just in here uh, last week for the same thing. Yeah, she was. All right, well, thanks for that. She's going to the restroom right now. She's going to take care of her uh, lice and her scabies. What were you picked up for? Uh, loitering and, well, soliciting. OK, and you just barely came into Vegas? Yeah, four hours ago. You didn't last very long. It's kind of funny. It's kind it, it, of funny. It is, because the last time I was out here was like three years ago, so. Oh, it's been three years? Uh, my warrant is two years old, so yeah. I okay. have not been out here in two years, and I have not been caught in two years. The warrant is for two years old. So do you think it's bad luck? <laughs> it's bad luck. I don't think I Vegas is on here. babies at home with their dad. Oh, don't, let, don't tell twins. me that. Oh, but the dad's there, right? Yeah. Do you usually make more money when you come to Vegas? Is it like a holiday or something? What made you decide to come now? I just wanted to get gone, get away. For two weeks, even though you just had babies. You needed a break. I mean, yeah, you need a break from twins. I pampered myself oh. with my nails and, you know. Well, Vegas is the place to go for that. All right. Well, I got a shirt for you that you can put on. I'm sure it's a little cold in here. And the guys, you know, start looking at you a little bit. They got no money. Sorry. They, came they got no money, right? Sorry. Yeah, we took their money anyway, so. 
All right, so you just got the one warrant, so I'll never see you again. I'm okay with that. You're okay with that? I am okay with that. <laughs> okay. All right, you can go back to your seat. Uh, Alicia. Okay. I know a lot of people come over from California to work just for a couple of weeks. It's just funny that she got caught within four hours of being here. That's her sign that she's not supposed to be over here in Vegas. And she'll go back and she does what she does over in California. All right, it's almost halfway through my shift and we're starting to get a little busy. And uh, it looks like Tammy's got another obstacle to trouble. I need to go over and help. Yes, you do have room solid. Tammy, you don't get that. You're going to go in a cell with other females. Yeah. Lay down I did this for you guys, so I want you to know that. You are, it's the dress. Right now we're gonna take you to a cell. Cause you're out there, you're screaming and you're yelling at everybody and you can't do that, you're being disruptive. I know that, but you're being disruptive. Stay in cell, don't move. Is the ring in a watch? Is it on your side? No, nothing on my side. You can have them off, because everybody else has them off. Okay, put your knees up on the bench. These cuffs are going to come off. When they do, you place your hands high on the wall. Do you understand that? Yes, you know what I All right, don't move until the door shuts. Basically, she's been disruptive since she first came in, and she's also having... Other females don't want to be around her because supposedly she has lice, she's picking at her skin, and she's yelling at other people. So we took her back to the side cell and everybody was very grateful for that. And I think that's kind of what she wanted too. So she's back in her side cell, she'll sleep it off. See her tomorrow, she'll be a lot more calmer and she'll get kicked out and she'll come back again. working for Metropolitan Police Department for about seven years now. And Las Vegas is pretty interesting for a police department. Things are open 24 hours a day here, and alcohol is 24 hours a day, which means people get access to alcohol nonstop pretty much if they want it. And you add that in with our 100 degree heat and all kinds of things start happening in Vegas. Have you ever been here before? No. Who are you not getting along with tonight? My husband. Oh, is he going to come in too, or just you? No, just me. I'm the one that threatened him. He had uh, yeah. extramarital oh, affairs. No. For 24 years, and then he lost his sex. It's been going and on I've been for a year with yeah. him since then, so. It's his love. It's his love. All oh, right. He still loves her. 49 and a half years. 49 and a half All right, come on. Over here, have a seat. The very last chair, okay? She's been married to this guy some 50 some years. Uh -huh. And last year, she just, he admitted to her that she'd been, he had an affair some 24 years ago. And so every now and then when he wants to get her going, he starts telling her about this other girl, this old lady. You're here tonight because you were fighting with your husband. Right. And he keeps bringing up that he used to have an affair with somebody. So you guys had an argument. Till he, right had, he had no sex, which was in 1984. Yes. He had sex with her from 1960 to 1984. And now he's telling me about it in 2008. Well, that's got to upset you. Oh, I hope to tell you. Oh, it's got to be <laughs> kind of tough to hear that. in your mind. Yeah. This is 2009 right now, though. I know. I've been, so it started last uh, year? Yeah, and I've been fighting ever since. What are all these? They're all from me. From fighting? Yeah. Really? I had a choice, either shoot him or call the police. Shoot. So I called the police. Do you have yeah, a gun we, have, we have guns. Oh, okay. You do seem like you can take care of yourself. Oh, like, I, I do. do I do, honey. I, I use things, though. I don't do it with my hands. Did you hit him with something tonight? Oh, I hit him with all kinds of things. What did you hit him with? She got a son that's Baby oil bottle. <laughs> baby oil bottle? Did you throw it or did you? I threw it. You threw it? Well, and now you fight every single day. Did you know you this better, person? I did not know. You didn't know her? I didn't. Oh, no. It's not a person. It's a... Mm. Paid for. <laughs> oh, the lady of He's, the evening. Yes, several of them, I understand. So he had a little extra habit. He's the one that keeps bringing it up. 
he keeps teasing me. Teasing so, you. That's you know, not very nice. No, it's That's not very great. Nice. Um, what are you here for tonight? Uh, what loitering for the purpose. Loitering for the purpose? Is this your first time here? No. No? If I had to count, I'd say probably about a dozen times No, Not the first time. Won't be the last either, so... Do you have any warrants, or is this no. a... No? Uh-uh. No. Yeah. Make a lot of money? Um, as it stands right now, no. No? I am actually planning on opening my own escort business. Yeah, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> I would never do it. <laughs> never in my life. She, she had a bad night. No kidding. <laughs> it's her first time to jail, so you girls that are experienced yeah. with our system can kind of help her out and let her know what this to expect. This is the worst part, the waiting. Oh, thank God. I'm tired. Why don't we go take your picture? Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Bye sweetie pie. Bye. Bye. You have a good one. You, you All right. Good girl. Come with me, okay? Here's your charge sheet. It's got loitering for the purpose of prostitution. Yep. And you know to go to court, right? I always go to do court. Do you have a lawyer or do you represent yourself? I represent myself. Do you? Okay. All right then. Been there enough. Okay. So you remember the rules in here? Yep. Okay. Raise your hand if you need anything. And when they call your name, walk around to where you're needed for processing, okay? Okay. All right, thank you. There's your friend. Why don't you sit next to her? It's been a pretty hectic evening, so I'm glad that they've got each other to talk to. This is your first time seeing Dale. Oh yeah. Good. Where's a blanket? Well, we're gonna. I'm gonna work on that. But for okay. right now, I have to okay. put you in here, and All I'll right. be back, and we're gonna That's probably get you somewhere more comfortable. Okay. Go ahead and sit right down. Yeah. So, how are you feeling about it all? Honestly, I don't how like are you feeling it. about everything? <laughs> you don't like it? No. no. It would be two days out of your life, a little uncomfortable, not very pleasant, but I think you're going to get through it because you're pretty strong. Oh, I'm very you're strong. very strong. And I just mm. can see that you don't belong here. Yeah. You don't belong here. You're in a situation and you I've need never, to get some... I've never done anything bad. Oh, I, I can tell. I understand. <laughs> okay, well, I hate to say enjoy your stay, but make the best of it, okay? You seem like you're, you're doing pretty good. I'm doing real good. Okay. Be careful this now. This is a bear cat. Okay. Could be better, right? Uh, my ribs hurt. Um, okay, so I'll try to be careful with that. Can you spread your feet for me, though, sure. please? But um, my ribs hurt. So yeah. you got into a fight, and it was a domestic violence situation, right? My girlfriend called them. I was in my apartment by myself. Just out of curiosity, but what made you put the tats on your face? I was young and dumb. Oh, so you've had them for a while. Do you regret doing the ones on your face? Absolutely. Have you been here before, ma'am? I have on parole, on probation, on everything. And then you got in a fight with the girl. Yeah, she just... Put me in here. Um, it's the last last case she caught was on me. So when you get out of here, are you gonna go back to her? She just needs to go. Yeah, it's too much trouble, too much drama, right? I can right? take care of myself. I can do better myself. Well, you were taking care of yourself before her, right? Right, but I you know you know what love love is something else. You're mm -hmm. right. We're gonna go take you to medical, okay? Okay. So obviously you're here for domestic violence, right? You're okay. charged, okay? So minimum of 12 hours. That's just a cooling down period, all right? <laughs> After that, we'll maximum. Get you 48 hours, maybe? It just depends. Don't worry about it. Have a seat. Let's get it through, okay? I just got a lot of defects. I got a lot of defects. Who doesn't? This is all defects. I mean, if I didn't have this, I'd be corporate. I'd be in the corporate office. Yeah. It's true, too. It's the way people judge us. Like, kind of makes people look at me a little awkward, you know? And um, they can look at me all they want. If they just take five minutes to talk to me. Hey, I've talked to you for five minutes, and I'm very impressed. No. Noticing by looking at her tattoo, she's got a lot of tattoos with females' names on it. Demisha, Melody. What are all these tattoos about? Some of them are girlfriends, some of them are just like best friends. People have touched me. I just kind of like get involved with the wrong type like women. And this is what I get. <laughs> but you know, lesson learned, right? I don't know. From this one, I mean. I don't know. Love is love. Yeah. Love is love. All right, good luck to you. 
when she first came in, even I, I judged her just because of her tasks that she has on her face. She's trying to get away from the lifestyle she had before, but it's hard for her to do when you have the tasks that she has. Down here in Bucking, where pretty much everybody comes in for the first time, you know, you get the officer inmate contact, and uh, it just depends on them whether they want things to go smoothly or not. So it's important for us to just, you know, keep everything in here running smoothly so that way, you know, they can get through the process. What are you doing in the bathroom? Oh. I saw her so I didn't see him. <laughs> well, no, but I saw him in the corner. She was way over, so I couldn't see her, and he pulled his pants down, so I wasn't about to uh, walk in there with his pants down. You sit over there in the corner. He was going like this real quick. What were you guys planning on doing in there? It depends on how long we were able to stay in there. Sex or if possible? You know, about 10 more minutes then. So you've been dating recently then? Okay. She took my virginity. Oh, she did? Yeah, when I got at the joint. Oh, you? how long were you Were you away? Five years. Five years? For what charges? Attempted murder. Attempted murder? Okay, gotcha. What charge are you here on? They said I was trying to commit grand larceny and steal a dog. And stealing a dog? A teacup. <laughs> oh, Yorkshire okay. Terrier. And I'm out on intense supervision along the moment, so I'm not getting out for a minute. Right. For sure. Is that why you went in the bathroom? That could be part of the reason. The other part would probably be because he's so good. Oh, he's yeah? Cute. We're going to have babies. Lots of them. What were you guys planning on doing in there? Making the babies in that bathroom. <laughs> were you going to go to pr prison pregnant? or? Mm -hmm. If I was lucky, it didn't work out that you guys decided to come bang on the door and Well, pop. make sure we keep a special eye on you, too. I'm sure you so guys are. Get you through the process and make sure we separate you guys in different cells. This guy developed a plan to steal a puppy. He called up a pet store, found out the animal cost too much, but then he found out that it was at the animal hospital. So he uh, called up the animal hospital and basically asked if, you know, the animal was there. They said yes. He said that he worked for the pet store and was going to go down and pick the puppy up. He calls back and says, well, I'm going to be sending my assistant down. He basically admits he wanted to get his niece a puppy, didn't have 1500 bucks, and basically sent her down to steal the puppy. Well, like I say, we put you out there on a free arrest. Make sure you don't talk to your girlfriend. I don't want to run to in the bathroom there. Oh, wow, I'm scared. Hold sit down. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, yeah, let's bring the officers on. Yeah, let's bring them on. Relax. I'm, I'm relaxed. You were? Whoa, whoa. Whoa, I'm relaxed. Whoa. You're going to face this rear wall right here. Spread your feet. Mm -hmm. Do you have stockings on? Yes, I do. It's got my net, too. What else do you got on? Pantyhose. Pantyhose? And an outfit. Yep. And yeah, a laundry day? Hell yeah. Pink. Wow. Pink. That is pink, sir. Oh, yeah. What's. Mm -hmm. That so is. It's like. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. Pink. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. That, was, yeah. You were going to. I didn't plan to share that with you guys. Oh, who are you going to share it with? My girlfriend. We're going to go ahead and uh, have you change out some of your clothes. You know what I'm saying? That's fine. Yeah, you don't want to wear that to jail. Take your shirt off first. Stay, stay facing, facing the wall. Stay sir. facing the wall the whole time. Just you know what? In fact, we could probably uh, just have him take it off. And just have him step, step, step right, right, right over here. Right there. There. there you go. Corner right here. Okay, go ahead and remove your pants, sir. Thanks so much Thanks for this night. night. Okay. Have me your pants, sir. Okay, go ahead and take the uh, pink nighty thing off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Face, Face the wall, we're going to give you your clothes back. You got uh, arrested for a DUI tonight. Is that what happened? Evidently, yes, sir. What happened inside the blood draw room that got you agitated? Um, I've been arrested before, but... Uh, there's some things that just are personal, so okay. I don't have to say. That's understandable. Okay. No problem. I'm going to have you come over here and have a seat right over here on the wooden bench now, okay?
All right, we're going to give you a cool off period in here. Good to go? Yeah, good to go. Thank you. All right. We'll be back to talk to you in a little while. You know, I'm not sure exactly what got him started out there in uh, pre-rest, but I'm glad we did get him back here and get his uh, pink lingerie off. I can't believe this guy's doing it again. Come here. Get out now. You were told not to communicate with her, not to talk to her. I'm tired of you. You were standing there blowing kisses. He told you not to communicate with her. Telling her to shut up is communicating with her. Do you understand that? Do you understand the word communicate? I promise you didn't. I promise you didn't. You're full of it. Come on in here and face the wall. Spread your feet. All right. So what happened now? He thought I was communicating. And I kind of was communicating. Oh, were you communicating or were you not communicating? There's no kind of was. Kind of being I said like shut halfway up. pregnant. I kind of said shut up. You know, I kisses mean, back to her, make no little. No, movement. I said shut up. So. so, what would make you think you could just go steal a dog? I don't understand that part. The thought process. I look like a person that wants a, a Yorkshire Terrier. Um, go to Dog Pound and get a dog. All right, sit in here, start thinking about making the right decisions so and get out of jail. Oh, but I'm talking no more tonight. That's easy. No, that's, that's, that's it, though. All right, listen up. This right here, this list of your charge right here. Grand larceny, burglary, conspiracy, okay? Just make sure you're not talking to the guys on the left side. So just go take a seat in that front row. Can I go to the bathroom? Yeah, you can go ahead. You got a boyfriend, a lot of trouble. If she keeps it up, she'll probably end up in a side cell herself. You know, just not talk to the guys, things like that. So just see how it goes. come to Vegas and think that they can just do whatever they want. Not everybody comes to jail because they're out trying to commit some big crime or trying to hurt somebody. And no matter how many commercials and stuff say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, it doesn't. Because come on vacation, leave on probation, <laughs> return on parole violation. You got to be quiet. We're going to do a couple. We're going to readjust your cuffs, hey, and we're going to take your belt you and your watch, OK? I apologize to you guys. It's OK. Listen, let me readjust this cuff, OK? Appreciate it. Why are you in jail? Trespass, man. man he did me wrong, man. So what was your problem with the guy that was leaving? Was that the one that brought man, you in? He, he, I, I explained to him. He, he need to see the big fish. I'm a lit fish. OK. Well, he's the one that's brought you in? It's a big fish bowl. We got big fish and little fish. I'm out. I'm smart. I'm smart than everybody up in here. I was born and raised in Las Vegas. I know what I'm doing. You're gonna have a seat over here for us. All right. Whatever, sorry. I'll call with you. Got right fellow. Do me that one little favor and just be quiet. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Thank you. They yeah. hungry. <laughs> That's it. It's now sure it I'm right here. Yeah. I have to admit. Yeah. It seems like you'd be a good old guy, but yeah, his mouth right right That's right. exactly what it was. <laughs> Who has the best story? Why are you in jail? The best story? Why I'm in You think jail? you have the best story? Yes. Why are you in jail? I was in front of a bar with the girl at the end, and I had an open container of beer right in, in between my legs. Mm -hmm. And I'm in here because of that. And I feel that the police out here are very hungry. You know what I mean? Because if you go to the, um, to Los Angeles or something, like, you ain't go to jail. I mean, we was in the park car yeah. just drinking the beer. Well, know? this isn't Los Angeles. I know, this That's is Las sure. Vegas. And I see they, they hungry out here. But instead of, instead and of I'm, I'm in here just for an open container, just for sitting in the Jeep, I mean, in front of a bar, drinking the beer. Is that legal? It's not legal. Well, that's why you come to jail. <laughs> Next, what's your lovely story? I never show up for court, period. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather do 22 So days they'd be really stupid to give you an OR today fat, and a court exactly, date. Exactly, and go into detox, then to pay the fines that I have. What was the warrant no, for this time? There's no telling. You don't even know which one it is? Uh, there's probably, well... I think it's probably... Failure to appear, you no, think. No, <laughs> it was an undercover cop. 
and the body gave him a <laughs> job for five So it was prostitution. Yeah. And then you didn't show up they on the prostitution. Me to jail. But I said, if you gave me six seventy five, at least minimum wage, Your Honor. Do you know she just missed that? Well, he arrested me again. So I'm sure when I go in front of her, and she said, why didn't you show up for court? I'm saying, minimum wage. Minimum wage. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, you're in Look, jail. I understand I'm in jail. You think I don't know what the f happened? Then why are you resisting and pulling away from the officers? That was the point. She wouldn't move. That's, you comply, they don't grab you and twist you. Well, here's the thing. So you ask a person down, you also move out of their way. She's really? switching you to handcuffs. You kick me, I'm going to give I you a felony kicking. charge. You kick I have a bad leg. He just put his foot on my leg. Go get Thank you. Do you have a trash one? The chair is more comfortable than this. You think? No, I know it's not. You're going to. You know, you're too busy cracking jokes. Go ahead. Talking to a person that needs help. Unlike you. Someone actually no, does. No, someone need who help. needs help. I do need help. You're going to get some help. Right in that restraint yeah. chair. Behind you. Where are you? Where are you going? The chair's over here. Parker, right there. Bloop. Help Thank you yourself. very much. Down you go. Put your hands as far down as they can go or it won't be comfortable. The chair works. I'm glad. Keep your legs down. Duh. That's why I was so complaint with you, oh, too. Really? You would not no, move out of yeah. my way. You want to act like that? You can treat it like that. That's how it works. I'm not acting over being treated. Well, then you're the only one strapped in the chair, and everybody else is just sitting here's out here. So thing. how's that work? You I don't care about your thing anymore. Move her away. Bye-bye. Whether the person bye. has underwear on or not. Bye-bye. But you want to pick on me. She thinks she knows how to run the place, so she comes in screaming, you know, I can't follow any order. But apparently we're only picking on her, but there's a whole room full of people that know how to cooperate and do what they're supposed to do. So she'll be strapped in that chair. <laughs> she was paying me no mind, told her to sit down, be quiet, went over to her, and she still wanted to challenge me, so I had her sit down. She refused, just stood there in a challenging stance, and she did kick me. So what are you here for today? I can't remember. Still listening, I think. Hands on top of your head. I know, you've been here plenty of times. God, knows how and it I works. always come with no with legs showing and arms showing. <laughs> Have a seat right here. Let's Frequent flyer seat. comes in all the time. She knows how the whole system works. Soliciting prostitution Ooh. was the original charge. Just like she said, she doesn't go to court, so she gets a bench warrant for that charge and now today she's here for the bench warrant. This time the judge will probably give you time and you'll do your 10 days, 15 days, or whatever. Yeah. I'm not gonna pay no 200 2000 some dollar fine. So they're going to tell the judge lay to give down you time for about and 20 days. You'll spend your 20 days and clean off of the everything, whatever. But then when you go back out, you're going to start all over again. Yes. I was on a billboard once upon a time. I was Miss Bojangles in this town. Now I'm crippled and old. I don't care now. Still have to sign. This is a copy of why you're here. It's the bench warrant for right. soliciting. You know, you know how the room works, right? Yeah. yeah. So the girls don't talk Thank to you. the boys. No problem. Listen, I'm not She's probably soliciting to support mm -hmm. and drinking. And cheap sex acts. Quick 10, 15 bucks in a night, just so she can go get herself some more alcohol. Right. What she says she does now. Central booking for the past four years, I'm constantly on my feet and I'm running from the beginning of my shift to the very end. One night it'll be ladies night, the next night it could be people that have been drinking too much and there's times when people come in and all they want to do is fight. So my job as an officer is to talk to these inmates and pretend that I can relate to them and then if I can do that verbally and not go hands on then I think I've done a pretty good job for that night. Oh, You're only six months? Yeah. No, you pull it off very well. Well, thank you. Uh-huh. So you came from city? Yes, ma'am. Okay, what do you do? What do you got to take care of here, then? Um, actually, they remand they gave me a detainer. Uh, I got another court date. I had got released from city, but then they gave me a court date for county. I just went to county court yesterday. All right, so you may not even be here that long, then. Okay, this row all the way down the very last chair. 
there's times when inmates will have city charges as well as county charges. So they'll go to city, they'll get things taken care of with city, then they are transported over to us, do their time here, take care of that, and then they'll get released. You said you haven't been in trouble for a while, though, right? Been like four years. <laughs> okay, you're six months pregnant, though. Yeah. All right, so you're done yeah. being more responsible. Yeah. And that's it's my why. First. I know it's your first, and that's what I'm saying, but you said you didn't know until you were three months pregnant. That's why you. No, almost four. Almost four. Okay. So you're not doing crack anymore. No. We're done with that. Yeah. Okay, that's a good thing if you didn't know about because if you didn't know about it, then I'd get after you. No, but I really didn't. Because I've been in here, I've been coming in and out of here because I've been in prostitution rings. I mean, I've been out here eight years, but I haven't even been doing that. Okay, so the prostitution charge wasn't a recent charge? It was a recent charge. How are you prostituting right now? I'm not. I was in the area. Okay, so that was allegedly. Admit, yeah. Okay. I in casinos, but I was on Tropicana, and that's like a high prostitution area. Okay. All right, you know, we're just both thinking about your baby. That's yeah. all. Okay? No, most definitely. definitely. Okay, good. Yeah, all right, because I see some sad stuff in here, and it makes me sad. I know. It makes me cry. I hear stories. Hang out here for a minute, and then I'll send you through, okay? Do you sing country? I'm a professional female vocalist. I sing. What do you sing? Everything, everything. Gospel, country, western rock and roll, rhythm and blues, or rap music. Play the guitar. And you said your your father's a preacher? Yes, I'm a preacher's kid. <laughs> uh, Handcuffs in jail at Walgreens. Well, don't worry about it. Everybody makes mistakes, right? I really well, want actually, you to see. They're, they're trying to charge me, and, and they can get away with it. Which is very unfortunate. They can say anything they want to. Who's and they? The police officer. What are they trying to charge you with? They're, I'm not quite sure what they're trying to charge me with, but they threw handcuffs on me. <laughs> and when I told them, I just well, I wanted them to be taken home. Was the and officer in plain clothes or a uniform? He was in plain clothes. Vice? Yes. Prostitution? He's saying you tried oh, yeah, to... Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, but I, that, that's not but what But you weren't doing... Well, well, what was happening? You tell me what was happening. What was happening? <laughs> Did he? It, no, we did not discuss sex. We did not discuss sex at all. He wanted. He was trying to, and I told him no. Well, look at you. You're hot. Of course, he's going to ask you for that. Have you ever been to this facility before? Long, long, long time. What, what was the charge back then? I really believe you on The charge was <laughs> solicitation for prostitution. But well, see, you didn't mention that. Okay. Not, you know, sometimes people just can't be honest about the whole situation. You know, honest to yourself about it. I mean, it's not like it would be really unusual for you to be brought in here when you didn't really do that. Did you touch him in any way? Did you ask him any questions? <gasps> You're smiling. At one point, you led him to believe that you were interested in that. <laughs> It's okay, don't get upset. We're just talking about it. So depressed. Don't be depressed. All right, listen, I'm gonna go, I gotta leave. I'll check on you again, see how you're doing in a little bit, okay? Okay, let me give you a large shirt. And I may not have anything for pants, so you'll probably have to stick with those. Just have to keep holding, yeah, this, that's all I have. But you're dressed out, you shouldn't be too cold. Thank you so much. Okay, this is a copy of your charges. Just like you said, you got the remands for the PCS drug and mm -hmm. possession of a dangerous drug, okay? Okay. So they'll talk to you in the next room, too. Okay. Have a seat in the third row on the right. Don't talk to the boys, but I know you won't. If you need something, you raise your hand from your seat. I actually feel like she's willing to change her life for her baby, and hopefully she does do that, and especially, if not for herself, for her baby. So you'll be down here for a little bit. Like I said, if you bond it, posted bill, you're going to be. going to be posted tomorrow. tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Okay, so yeah. six to 12 hours after that, you'll be out of here. Thank you. Do you know, did you have your ultrasound yet? Do you know if it's a boy or a girl? Yeah, it's a boy. What are you going to name him? Do you know? Uh, yeah, but I better not say. That's okay. Yeah. That's all right. <laughs> and then you will have to go to court. It's probably Friday. I saw your charges. You've been here quite often for prostitution. How long ago was the last time? Two years ago. Two years. Like well, you said it was. You said it was a while ago. It was only two years ago. All right, ladies. So you guys are taken care of. And good luck to both of you guys. Oh yeah, you're all worried about that. I'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. All right. Have a better night. Sarah, who's pregnant, she's actually been fun to work with. 
the other female, everything's everybody else's fault except for hers, so there's no accountability. So now I've got one happy one, one that's not. You know, it's what you make out of your stay here. It's all about attitude, personality, and it is what it is. And the doors open up and they leave me outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my needs. I don't wanna be 